Former ESCOM CEO Matela Koko has been granted bail. Koko is one of eight arrested in connection with the multi-billion rand irregular tender at Kusile Power Station in Mpumalanga. They face charges of fraud and money laundering. All the accused were arrested in Gauteng and in Mpumalanga this morning. Bail proceedings are still ongoing. Well, Rudy Heinecke is the State Capture Portfolio Manager at the organization Undoing Tax Abuse. He joins us now tonight. Uh, Rudy, good evening to you. Thanks for your time. Firstly, what do you make of these latest arrests, Marcella Koko, his family? It's been a story that has been out in the public, of course, for a number of years now, since it broke while he was still an executive at ESCOM. Good evening, Kathy. Yes, uh, this comes uh, or goes back to... Uh, you know, 2018, when he was uh, still an executive at ESCOM, and was and there was a disciplinary hearing at ESCOM, uh, where he resigned uh, during this disciplinary hearing, and he did not admit any guilt on uh, you know the accusations put to him in that disciplinary hearing. So yes, it uh, goes back a long way. Let's talk about the significance of these arrests. The fact that this matter is finally before the courts. This is significant, uh, you know, not only the arrest today of Mr. Koko and uh, the family and all the other accused, but also the other state capture arrests that we saw in the past months. Uh, and this shows that, and hopefully that the uh, law enforcement agencies and the prosecuting authority, you know, are really getting grips to, uh, uh, getting grips on the, uh, the matters uh, related to state capture. Part of what we are seeing here is that the case that they, they really have to answer to has to do with a building contract related to Kusile. And we know that you know, there were so many different issues that came up with that power station and its inefficiency. It's, it's part of the reason why we are even having load shedding to the extent that we do today. Yes, uh, this contract, as we understand it, was, uh, you know, the main contract was between ESCOM and ABB. And then uh, ABB subcontracted Liago, uh, the company of one of the accused. Uh, that was cancelled, and later on uh, they subcontracted Impulse International, a company of this, uh, where the stepdaughter of Mr. Koko was involved with. And um, from there on, you know, the, 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 the payment of uh, uh, fees went to Impulse International and allegedly of some of that fees ended up in the accounts of Mr. Koko and his wife. Mm. Of course, these are allegations that the likes of Marcella Koko have uh, denied for a long time, if anything. Uh, he believes that he'll be able to walk away from this case uh, scot-free. How much pressure do you think there is on the NPA to ensure that it does secure convictions uh, with relation to, to these cases? Because I think they, there's a big question of credibility here uh, that, that also comes up. Yes, we have got information, you know, that this case was uh, quite ready for uh, uh, going to court, you know, quite a while ago already. And I think, you know, the NPA just, um, you know, crossed all the T's and dotted the I's. Um, but I do believe that uh, the, the NPA in this matter has got a strong case. And, um, you know, Mr. Koko and the, the, the rest of the co-accused, uh, they must be uh, given the opportunity to answer to this case so that an independent court of law can decide on, you know, on, on the matter. Rudy Heineke is with the organization Undoing Tax Abuse. We'll leave it there for tonight.